Welcome to Electron Line, and in this example, we're going to again try to find the probability that x will be less than 70 under the conditions that the expected value is equal to 100 and that sigma is equal to 20. Now, notice in this case, since x is less than the what we would call expected value, we're looking for the area right in here. Which basically, the way you can find that is you can find this area right here, which is easy. That would be equal to 1 half and subtract this area from it. And I'll show you in just a moment why we would want to do it that way. Well, first of all, we want to find the z value because the z value will help us figure out what this area is equal to right here. And so the z value is equal to x, which is 70, minus the expected value 100, divided by sigma, which is 20, the standard deviation. So this is equal to minus 30 divided by 20, which is equal to minus 1.5. I do see the negative there, but that's okay because the negative or positive value, when we want to find the area, it really doesn't make any difference. So when the z value is minus 1.5, this area right here would be the same as this area right here when z is equal to plus 1.5. So what we can say here is that the probability of x being less than 70, that is equal to 0.5, which is the whole area right here from there to there, minus this area that would be minus the probability that z is, uh, is uh, less than uh, 1.5 sigma. So this will give us this area right here, which is the same as this area right here. So it doesn't matter if we take this area, this area, we get the same value. So right here, when z is equal to 1.5 times sigma, we know that that area is equal to 0.4332. So therefore, this is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4332, which is equal to 0, 0.0, looks like 668. And that would be the probability that x value would be less than 70. And you can see that it's pretty easy to do it that way. Again, find out your expected value, your standard deviation. Use that to find the z value. The z value indicates the fraction of sigma that you're away from the mean or from the expected value. You plug that into your table. Doesn't matter if it's a negative or positive, you get the same value. And then you look at the graph and then you realize to get this value right here, to get this area underneath the curve, you take half the the area right here, which is one half, and subtract this portion from it, which is found from the table right there. So it's 0.5 minus this, will gives you the probability or the area you need to curve to the left of x equal 70. And that's how we do that.